present, presents at Christmas are another bind. I mean, you can always spot a last-minute present a mile off, can't you? The only places open on Christmas Day are garages <laughs> and Asian grocers. <laughs> the times I've been given two dozen sachets of windscreen wash <laughs> or ten pounds of mixed yams. <laughs> you, you get strange presents too. Last year, my mum bought me a plain v-neck grey sweater that was fluorescent. <laughs> a day glow grey. <laughs> Remarkable. And there's a, there's a Christmas Day ritual that I and a few of my friends indulge in at the local boozer. We all turn up for the lunchtime session wearing all the outlandish clothes we've been given by <laughs> fruitcake aunts and, <laughs> and grannies who think you're still only 11 years old. <laughs> and you, get, you see blokes wearing shirts with steam trains all over. <laughs> a six foot stick. 18 stone geezer wearing noddy slippers and a Zorro cap. <laughs> well, at least it sets you up to face the ordeal of Christmas lunch, doesn't it? Hey, that mountain of food you have to consume with a big, ridiculous purple paper hat on you. <laughs> hey, it's just like a contraceptive, isn't it? <laughs> you know it helps to make the occasion, but you feel such a fool putting it on. <laughs> And then, then you get the after-lunch games. Oh, Christmas games drive me up the wall, particularly card games. I mean, I love card games if they've got a bit of skill. You attach to them, you know, solo or whist. But the, the only game everyone knows at Christmas is Pontoon. <laughs> 21. I hate Pontoon. I can't stand it. It's so bloody boring, isn't it? And every year we play it, and every year my missus forgets the rules. <laughs> There's only three of them. <laughs> It's always, uh, twist, twist, twist me another, oh, another five card trick. Hey, not again, that's the fourth on the trot. Let's have a look at your cards. You've bust! <laughs> You've got 47! <laughs> yes, it's good, isn't it? I only had 39 last hand. <laughs> if, there's, if there's one thing worse than pontoon, it's charades. <laughs> Nobody ever remembers the proper sign language, do they? Um, two syllables <laughs> sounds like a book. <laughs> it's always the same films and TV programmes you have to guess. And the clues are about as subtle as a punch in the gob, aren't they? <laughs> Granddad takes his teeth out and uh, jaws. <laughs> Cold it, yeah. <laughs> Uncle Morris is given 20,000 leagues under the sea to mine, mine, and he starts off by going one, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> Shiraz always ends with Auntie Gwen trying to give clues to Gone with the Wind. <laughs> She falls for it every year, doesn't she? She still hasn't twigged, it's so embarrassing. I mean, everyone knows what it is, but they don't want to let on, and Auntie Gwyn gets more frustrating and... <laughs> uh, exodus! Uh, leaving on a jet plane! <laughs> Far from a maddening crowd! <laughs> a point on Christmas Day where you quite look forward to the hangover on Boxing Day morning, don't you? <laughs> and there are, there are anomalies about Christmas that worry me. Not worry, they niggle me. I have them at the back of my mind. Well, look, I was thinking about that very first Christmas and, and the three wise men. So wise, someone says, hey you three, Follow that star! <laughs> uh, okay! Where to? Until it stops 
Bats, of course. <laughs> Duh, OK. <laughs> Off they go. Then they go and lash out what must have been a fair bit of bread on, on prezzies like gold, frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> Whatever myrrh is. <laughs> I think it's I think it's Egyptian Scrabble, doesn't it? <laughs> and, and they're so wise, they go and give it all to a couple of strangers who were so poor they just had the first nipper in a bar. <laughs> now then, now then, what puzzles me is this: what happened to the gold? <laughs> I mean, if I'd have been JC's dad. I... <laughs> Drafty old boy, I'd have booked straight into the Bethlehem Hilton. <laughs> what do you mean, no room at the Hilton? I'll buy it! <laughs> Anything to get out of that barn and away from those nutty star followers. <laughs> what did he do with the gold? Maybe, maybe he gave it to the shepherds to get rid of them. <laughs> what a bunch of crazies they must have been. <laughs> Bursting into the stable, getting, hey, where's Mary and Joseph? An angel with big wings and glowing and everything told us to get out here and say hello. I'd have given them the gold and the myrrh. Anything, get them into the boozer next door and buy them around. What a, what a first Christmas day for Jesus. Wacky wise men and sozzled shepherds staggering all over a drafty old barn. Don't complain, son, says Joseph. If you think this is bad, wait till the rabbi comes round with the knife. 